good day students I'm by name student de baba femme sawa i'm here to teach you physics on the topic linear expansivity you go along with me our subject for today is physics and the class we will be looking is actually ss1 and the topic for discussion is linear expansivity linear expansivity that is the topic for discussion today. Now, it is very, very important to understand what linear expansivity is. But before we go, I want to talk about expansion. Expansion simply means the increase in size of a substance. I want to talk about thermal expansion. Thermal expansion means the increase in size of a substance when heat is applied to that substance. So that is when you call it thermal expansion. So when we increase the heat, we have expansion when we remove the what the heat we have what contraction so let's now go to linear expansivity what is linear expansivity linear expansivity can actually be defined as the increase in length per unit length per degree rise in what temperature that is linear expansivity and symbolically or mathematically linear expansivity can actually be written as linear expansivity can be written as this which is l2 minus L1 all over what? L1 open bracket theta 2 minus theta 1. Now, what does all the symbol stands for? All right. All this symbol actually stands for like this symbol. Now, this symbol stands for linear expansivity and the L2 stands for the what? The new length or the final length. The L1 stands for the original length. Why this theta 2 stands for the final temperature and theta 1 stands for what? The initial temperature. Now, we can also write the equation of linear expansivity as linear expansivity equal to E all over L1 open bracket theta 2 minus theta 1. Now, what does this E stands for? E simply stands for extension. That simply means, extension simply means the difference between the what, the new length and the original length, which can be written as E equal to L2 minus what, L1. And we also have the change in temperature. The change in temperature can also be written as delta theta equal to T2 minus T1. Now, Linear expansivity has its unit. And what is the unit of linear expansivity? The unit of linear expansivity is per Kelvin. Per Kelvin is the unit of linear expansivity. Per Kelvin. That is the unit of linear expansivity. Let's quickly look at some questions on linear expansivity. Linear expansivity, question one on it says, a rod of initial length, 2 meter at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius is heated to 80 degrees Celsius. Calculate the increase in length of the rod if its linear expansivity is 4.0 times 10 to the power of minus 3 per Kelvin. Now, when you are actually solving this question, as a physics student that may actually be preparing for exam, either internal exam or an external exam, it is very, very important you know your parameters because your parameter as a physics student gives you math. So let's go as we solve this question. It is very, very important we write out our parameter. You look at the question alongside and you discover the first thing given to us in this question is the initial length, which is actually L1. And L1 is given to us as 2 meters. And the next thing given to us in that question is the initial temperature, that is theta 1. And theta 1 is given to us as 25 degrees Celsius. The next thing in the question is the theta 2. The theta 2 is given to us as 80 degrees Celsius. These are the parameters. And another parameter given to us is the what? The linear expansivity, which is given to us as 4 Point zero times 10 to the power of minus 3 per Kelvin. So what are we looking for in this question? 
what we are looking for in this question is the expansion. We are asked to calculate the increase in length. And increase in length is actually our E. So we are asked to look for what? E. We don't know E. So what do we do now? We recall that we said E is actually L2 minus L1. That is in the case where your final length is given. But if the final length is not given, then we'll make E2 the subject of the formula. We look at it this way. So we have our general formula that says what? Linear expansivity equal to E all over L1, then open bracket theta 2 minus theta 1. So what do we do? Since we have written out all our parameters and we are looking for E, so what we need to do is we'll make E the subject of the formula. What do we do? We cross multiply. Having done that, what do we now have? We have E equal to linear expansivity L1, open bracket theta 2, minus into the equation. So what do we have? We have it this way as E equal to, we have our linear expansivity to be 4.0 times 10 to the power of minus 3 times our initial length, which is 2 times the change in temperature, which we have it as 80 times minus 25. And having done this, what do we have? We have it as 4.0 times 2 gives us 8.0 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Then we have times 80 minus 25 gives us 55. So we have it as 55. So when you multiply everything together, you have your E to give you what? 440 times 10 to the power of minus 3. So when we have it this way, Though you can actually leave your answer this way, but because we are looking for expansion, we are looking for the what? The expansion, the increase in length, you need to multiply through. And when you multiply through, what you have will give you 0 0.44 meter. This is what the answer to the question in question one. That E equal to 0 0.44 meter. And we'll also quickly look at the second question. Now, the second question goes thus. It says, a brass rod is 10 meters long at 41 degrees Celsius. What will be its length at 30 degrees Celsius? The linear expansivity of the brass is 2.0 times 10 to the power of minus 5 per Kelvin. Uh, just as I told us in the beginning, that when you are solving questions in physics, it is very, very important you write your parameters. So what are the parameters we have now? The parameters we have in the second question is our initial length. The initial length is 10 meter. The final length we are looking for is unknown. That is the L2. Then we have the what? The initial temperature at 41 degrees Celsius. And we also have what? The final temperature at 30 degrees Celsius. But you need to understand this. Just like we say linear expansivity. It is very, very important to know that when you increase the heat on the substance, it expands. When you re reduce the heat, it contracts. So like in this question, the heat is being reduced, so it makes the what? The expansion or the substance to reduce in its what? In its shape and size. So the question simply means that we are looking for what? L2. And if we must look for L2, we make L2 the subject of the what? Formula. So let's look at it this way together and get our L2. Thank you for going along with me. So we have our general equation that says linear expansivity equal to L2 minus L1 all over L1 open bracket theta 2 minus theta 1. Having done this, we are looking for L2 in order to make L2 the subject of the formula. So what do you do? You cross multiply. When you now cross multiply, what do you have? You have L2 as your subject of the formula. And having gotten that, you can now introduce your what? Your values. So what is our L2? L2 gives us L2 equal to L1 plus, then we'll look at it this way, open bracket, we have it as what? Linear expansivity L1 theta 2 minus theta 1. That gives us our what? L2. So what do we now need to do now? We need to introduce our what? Our value. So when we introduce our value, 
it will be very, very easy for us to get our L2. So let's look at it this way. L2 gives us what is our L1. Our L1 from the question is what? 10 meter. So you write your 10 meter here, plus, then you open your bracket. What is your linear expansivity? Your linear expansivity is 2.0 times 10 power what? Minus 5. Changing it to decimal, you have what? 0 0.0005. 0 0.002 times what you have there. So we have it as 0 0.00002 times your 10, which is your original length, then the difference in the temperature. And when you look at the difference in the temperature, we have it as minus 11. So I haven't gotten this. What do we have? We multiply everything here. Where we multiply, we have 10 plus. After everything, we end up multiplying and we have minus 0 0.0022. So when you have it this way, because of this minus, it will multiply this positive. And when it multiplies the positive, it changes the sign. And once it changes the sign, what do we have? We have it as 10 minus 0 0.0022, which gives us 9.9. 987 watt meter. Why do we have it as L2 becoming smaller? It is because it is not expansion, but what? Contraction. And also, this linear expansivity, we need to also observe it around us. Very early in the morning, you discover you start hearing a rattling sound on your zinc. Why? Because there's expansion. And later in the evening, what do you have? You start hearing a rattling sound that also because there's what? There's contraction. That's what is happening in nature. So there's linear expansivity everywhere. At the end of this day, I want you to observe in your locality in the evening to hear a rattling sound. It simply means that what? That solid material is doing what? It is reducing in size. Going back to its original what? Size. Why in the morning when there's application of sun, what happened? You start hearing another rattling sound. It simply means what? The solid material is also what? Expanding. So at this point in time, I really want to give you a take home or an assignment to just keep yourself busy while you stay safe and you stay protected. The assignment for the day is when bras of length 100 centimeter at 50 degrees Celsius is heated is heated its length changes its length changes to 100 Point five hundred point zero five four centimeter at what temperature? At what temperature? Take the linear expansivity of brass as the linear expansivity of brass, take it as. 0 0.000018 per Kelvin. Well, at this juncture, I will want to just recap and tell us what we have done today. We have looked at the topic linear expansivity. And what is linear expansivity? I said linear expansivity simply means the increase in size per unit size per degree what? Rise in temperature. Or increase in length per unit length per degree rise in what? In temperature. And Linear expansivity to expansion generally is something we observe around us. Thank you and have a nice day.